Hey, thanks for making it to Veterans Info Tap. You know, I'm, I'm still thinking about those uh, Congressional Budget Office uh, proposals to cut VA compensation uh, for those earning more than 170000 And what I want to kind of really highlight here is the threshold is at, I believe, 120000 And it's not just you, the veteran. It's your entire household. So if your household income is greater than 120,000 this would start to reduce your compensation until you hit a household income of 170,000 and then you get zero compensation you could not even be working okay you could not be working and your spouse could be whatever well just a doctor a scientist a, a lawyer whatever, making $170,000 a year, and you could be living in a high cost area, um, you know, and, and, you know, it's, it's deceiving because, you know, some places of the country, you know, 170,000, it sounds amazing. In other places, it's like, if that's your entire household income, you're barely scraping by, um, in some of these high cost areas. I mean, even Austin is, is getting outrageous now. So you talk about, uh, the Bay Area in California, you talk about other areas in the country that are high cost, 170000 household income, you could be a 100% rated veteran, and then all of a sudden you're getting zero. You talk about uh, house payments won't be made. You talk about car payments not being made. You talk about some substantial consequences to this proposal. Um, you know, I just want to to make people aware that it is not just your income. It's not you, the veteran. It's your household income in this proposal. And again, I'm going to reiterate here that if we're not vocal, look, you can hear from a thousand people, hey, look, the VA secretary said it's not going to happen. Well, guess what? The VA secretary isn't the one who gets to decide, right? The VA secretary does what he's told to do. Okay. So that's number one. Number two, uh, it would be great if we heard something from the president of the United States or ranking members of Congress about this. Uh, and, and really, it hasn't been voiced that much, to my understanding. So what are we supposed to do? Sit here and be quiet and pretend it didn't happen and go, well, nobody's really talking about it. Guess what? There's many conversations that happen behind closed doors. So don't be, don't be misled, right, by, oh, well, nobody's talking about it. It's not really going around. So... Voice it to your congressional representative in your area. Have your spouse do it. Write a little letter. Just send it to them. Write a little letter about how it's just ridiculous. Okay? Um, that's it. Just make them be aware that you are aware. Right? Things happen when you're not aware. When your back's turned, things are happening. And you need to make sure that, that they are aware that you know what's happening in their congressional budget office and that you won't stand for it. So with that, I'll go ahead and cut it. Thanks so much. Remember, if we don't take care of each other, something went wrong.